Hi, what is up guys? In this video, we're gonna talk about how I got 3A stars and 1A in Cambridge A-levels. I'm gonna share some of the things that I think helped me to achieve these high marks and maybe it can help you to achieve the best possible marks too. For those of you who are new to this channel, hi, my name is Jamie and in this month, we're gonna discuss about topics related to Cambridge A-levels and also gap semester. So if you are interested, feel free to subscribe. Firstly, you gotta wanna get those high scores. I mean, it's quite obvious, I think, like, you need to want something in order to achieve it so that your efforts can be maximum to achieve the things that you want. Like, how high? Maybe 2A stars, 2A, or maybe 4A, or maybe 4A stars. Having a goal that you really want, maybe you can write it on paper or anywhere that you can remember and see along the year to remind you to study hard, to focus, and to achieve those high marks at the end of the year when the exams come. Next, topical questions. When talking about the Cambridge A-levels, of course, practicing the past papers are really important. There are ways to practice the past paper along the years too, which is by practicing the topical questions. You can go straight to the past paper and then just do the questions which are related to the topic. For example, in physics, you're learning about gravitational fields. Then, usually, in the past paper, in paper 4, it's usually in number 1, that is gravitational field. This way, you're also already familiar with the structure of the past paper. For some subjects, I did use like a topical question website, such as Save My Exams. Here, I have right in front of me. Basically, the website already like separates the question from the past paper into the respective topics. However, sometimes we do need to pay to access the full mark scheme. I thought at first it was hard to like, for example, do questions only about equations of motions for like, for example, physics here. However, after a year of studying the A-levels, I realized that actually we can just go straight to the past paper and do the questions related to the topic. Basically, we filter it manually. And it's not that hard actually. Maybe you can do that too. It's totally free. Next, knowing our most effective and efficient study method. Okay, let me explain. For example, for business studies, I learn best and remember best, first of all, by writing notes, taking notes for the textbooks, like the important parts in the textbooks, and also practice writing the essays. However, for physics, I think what helped me achieve well in physics is having a friend to study together with. Around term 4, like almost a few months before the teacher assessments for the Cambridge A-levels, I figure out that I think I do need a study partner, like someone to study with, discuss the topics with, and to revise together maybe like once a week or so. Therefore, I asked some of my friends, and there are some of my friends who want to like revise together and study together. Because of that, I was able to like I think improve my score in physics, like also at the end achieve an A star. Knowing like for example if you remember faster by listening, maybe you can like read the textbook and listen to your own voice or maybe listen to people on YouTube or listen to your teacher in school, listen well. Or maybe if you like visualize, then you can read, I guess. What I mean is you, you need to know how you learn best, what keeps you motivated, what keeps you on track in your study progress and what keeps you disciplined to finish well on the exam. Here's the thing that my parents maybe reminded me throughout the years, which is ask your school teachers if you don't understand about the topic. Maybe some of our teachers provide like extra class or they are open for us to ask questions maybe during break times or after school. If there's something that you don't understand, it's better for you to just ask the teacher straight right in the class during the session where you discuss about the topic or you can maybe request a private call because it's during the online study time maybe during break time or after school and you can ask them privately I think most of our teachers will be happy and open to share and re-explain the topics However, I do know that some of our teachers are busy after school maybe they have other work to do, they have their own lives and maybe they teach their own private students like outside of school therefore i had a tutor for like accounting and also another tutor for both math and physics this teacher teach both of the subjects if i cannot like maybe have some time with the teacher from school maybe they're busy or we move on to the next topic having a tutor is another way to catch up to ask the questions that you don't understand in class miss i haven't understand this one can you re-explain it to me again miss maybe they can give you some other resources or practice questions for you to work on and improve your knowledge. 
if finding a tutor might be challenging or there's not much things that you actually don't know like you only don't know about one or two things maybe you can just simply ask your friends who are smart you know what i mean like they know about the subject well you can just approach them and ask them and i think most of our friends are happy to help us you know especially if it's only like once or twice as you already know i want to deep dive right into past papers but this time it's a different aspect of past papers just now it's like the topical questions right topical questions i think it's very suitable for when you are still in school you're learning the topic for the first time maybe there's unit tests on the topic there are quizzes on the topic it's a really good time to do those topical questions however a few months or especially a few weeks before like the exam I do recommend you to practice like full papers from number one to the last number this way you can see how fast can you finish the past papers and also whether you can do each topic or maybe there are some topics that you struggle more when doing the exam don't be afraid to like skip some numbers which you struggle with during the exam because time is actually very useful and valuable during the exam so if there's like a question that you struggle with you can just simply skip the question and later on after finishing all the other questions you can come back to that question and spend more time on that question next try to be active in the class believe it or not when we're active like we actively answer when the teacher is asking when we actively take notes and listen try to understand it helps us to retain the information faster and this actually reduces the work that we need to do at home after school like if we already understand the topic that our teacher explained during class time then after school hours we don't need to spend like a lot of hours on learning those topics we can actually just do the practice questions or maybe just read our notes for 15 minutes to 30 minutes and we're all good what i'm saying doing the work in the class by being focused in the class and listen because i know maybe it's challenging to listen in class especially during online class it might be boring but i believe it's not impossible to listen and focus in class maybe try turning on your camera if it helps you to be more active in class and focus in class because it seems like somebody's watching you when you turn on the camera you know what i mean like if you turn off the camera you can just lay down on your bed you can leave your computer but if you turn on your camera it seems like there's more accountability or like your teacher is looking at you you know what i'm saying try to put up strategies in order for you to focus maybe put your phones away during online class put your phones in another room or in a in your drawer at least try to have like a conducive learning space especially for online school so you can be focused in that space all right guys those are some tips that i think helped me achieve the high scores for the cambridge a levels basically you need to do the work in order to achieve the high scores i listened to some of my friends who get high scores maybe even higher than mine some of them get four a stars and maybe also same score like me three a stars and one a and of course what they say is they put in the work they learn they study they do the past papers i hope you can do well in your exams and achieve the best possible marks if you like this video you can give a like below and you can watch the other videos on cambridge a levels to help you achieve high scores thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye